Xpeng has unveiled the new G9 electric SUV. And I've got to say, it is very, very impressive. Hello, my friends. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of you new subscribers who have come on board over the last month. Fantastic to have you here on board. And welcome back to everyone else. If you're new here on the channel, we have made more than 500 and 85 videos over the last six months. So make sure you check out some of those videos because a lot of that content cannot be found anywhere else on YouTube. And I think a lot of it will help you help inform your investing decisions and also your car buying decisions. I mean, honestly, here's something to consider. If you buy a diesel, petrol, gas vehicle today, what will it be worth tomorrow. That's something we're thinking about. Now, the Chinese electric car market is going, well, it's kind of going insane this year. It's increased by 300% versus last year. In October, 19% of all cars sold in China, which is the world's biggest car market, by some margin, were electric vehicles. That is thanks to the fact that in China right now, you can buy an electric car for the same price which is far superior to a petrol equivalent. Seriously, the number of electric cars you can buy in China right now is through the roof. I haven't done a total number, but I would say there's more than probably 500 different models. It's exciting times right now. And right now, in the thick of all this action is Xpeng, one of the most famous electric car manufacturers in China. And their sales have been skyrocketing this year as well. Somehow, magically, they don't seem to have any chip supply problems this year. Unlike all the legacy automakers who were saying that, uh, well, you know, you know, it's not demand that's the problem. It's The problem is we just don't have any chips. Anyhow, Xpeng sales over the last two months have been enormous in comparison to the same two-month period last year. They sold 21,000 electric cars in China alone over those two months. Now, they've just unveiled... Then fourth EV today at the Guangzhou International Automobile Exhibition in China. The new electric SUV dubbed the G9 matches previous speculation about the vehicle and it will arrive with Xpeng's latest technology. Now keep in mind, in China, yep, you can buy cars with spectacular technology in them. And I really mean spectacular technology. The level of technology you can get in electric in a car in China for an affordable price is truly astounding. I've made several videos about this fact. Honestly, if you compare the technology you can get in a car for say 30,000 US dollars in China to what you can get in a car costing 30,000 US dollars in Japan or in Europe, it's like literally comparing a Nokia 3310 or whatever they were called versus a smartphone. So Xpeng's new electric SUV dubbed the G9 matches previous speculation about the vehicle and it will arrive with some seriously impressive tech. And also, not just tech, but also impressive battery tech. This includes the company's new EV architecture, their ADAS system, and supercharging capabilities. So what are those capabilities? Well, Zhao Peng, aka Xpeng Motors, sits as one of the more prominent EV manufacturers in China. It currently has three vehicles on the market. Its entry into the segment began in 2018 with its G3 SUV. Now the G3 was soon joined by the P7 sedan in 2019 and both EVs have remained mainstays in Xpeng's fleet. Now Electric reports that the automaker since expanded overseas, selling both EVs in Europe beginning with Norway. Xpeng unveiled its third electric vehicle this past August, and it went on sale really officially in September in China. It's a direct competitor to the Tesla Model 3, but it's significantly cheaper. I made a video about this vehicle, and it was my video was quoted on a few different websites because I was making a point here in this video that you could buy Xpeng's P5 for the same price as an ancient dinosaur technology Toyota Camry. And I don't mean that in a exaggeratory way. 
I mean, literally, the technology in the Xpeng P5 is light years ahead of a Toyota Camry. So my point in that video was, we have reached a point in history where the difference between the old and the new is incredibly stark. Since then, rumors have continually circulated about what Xpeng's new electric vehicle offering would be. Specifically, alluding to a larger SUV to complement the G3. Last week, there was a teaser image of the EV's silhouette posted by Xpeng. Now that was joined by a puzzle-like post splitting the image into nine separate different squares and captioning it with a G. Now, most people speculated at the time that that would mean it would be a G something. G9 is what it was. Early this morning in Beijing, Xpeng confirmed many of the rumors surrounding the G9 and shared new details, specifications, and sizes, performance, and everything else of the vehicle. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I think it looks fantastic. I'm a big fan. And Xpeng, if you're watching this video and you're interested in coming to Australia, I'm putting my hand up to test one. Please let me know. I'll be the first to test it and show it to all the people here on YouTube so I can see how good it is. Now, according to a press release from Guangzhou, Xpeng shared its fourth production model will be the G9. It will arrive as the first design from the outset for both domestic, Chinese, and international markets. So that's the good news. Xpeng is saying, right, that they're gonna deliver this vehicle to international markets. Now, they haven't said Australia yet or America yet, but I can tell you right now, the Europeans are already a little bit scared. Herbert D said, well, legitimately, he is scared of China. Huge respect to Herbert Deese for calling it out and actually acknowledging the elephant, the literal elephant in the room, which is Chinese cars right now. This means the G9 was designed from day one to be compliant with the C NCAP and E NCAP five-star safety design awards, as well as the EU WVTA vehicle certification standards. So for those of you, some people come into the blogs, oh, but it's just a Chinese car, they can't register it here. Nope, this vehicle is coming. And Xpeng have planned that in advance. The G9's front end fits the recognizable Xpeng X robot face look. It's similar to the other vehicles in the family. Complete with the daytime running lights, Xpeng has also integrated two LiDAR units directly into the headlights, cleverly combining driver assistance tech with its unique design. Now, the fact that it's only got two LiDAR units probably doesn't register as news to most viewers. But the reality is many EVs and cars right now being made in China come with up to nine or 10 LiDAR units on them. It's insane. Speaking of driver assistance, the G9 will be the first electric vehicle to utilize Xpeng's Xpilot 4.0 ADAS. This proprietary full scenario assisted driving works from the EV startup to parking, one step closer to delivering a full autonomous driving in the future. Now, Believe it or not, Xpeng is one of the closest companies towards delivering actual autonomy. There's a recent video going around showing people driving Xpeng's vehicles and just how good their autonomous software actually is. It seems to be potentially similar to what Tesla currently has right now. The G9 will sit upon Xpeng's new XEEA 3.0 architecture, a proprietary EV platform that integrates hardware, software, and communication altogether. The automaker said that this platform, the G9, will be able to receive firmware over the air FOTA updates in as quickly as 30 minutes, utilizing gigabit ethernet communications. To me, this is a huge part of buying a new car. If you buy a new car and it stays the same forever, you got ripped off, buddy, because, well, honestly, waking up in the morning and discovering your car has new features that cost you nothing, I think is one of the expected parts now of new car ownership. You can only get that if you buy an electric car. Personally, I can't think of much better than that. Wake up in the morning and have you got new features? Features. Well, Volkswagen actually said they were going to deliver a similar experience. So did Jaguar. Well, Jaguar said they'd deliver it with their electric vehicle. That electric vehicle happened to win the World Car of the Year award, but then Jaguar, well, they never actually did deliver any over-the-air updates, and so customers kind of got a bit disappointed in that experience, and guess what? 
the World Electric Car of the Year is basically dead. I made a video about that. I'll put a link to that video in the description. That video has had more than 150,000 views. Now, Volkswagen have had the same problem. They promised buyers they would get over-the-air updates. And buyers were starting to get angry recently that that hasn't happened or hadn't happened at the time. Now, Volkswagen has acknowledged that customers should have been receiving over-the-air updates because that's what they promised. And they're working on that now. I believe they've already received some of the first over-the-air updates from Volkswagen recently. Now, during Xpeng's 1024 Tech Day in October, the Electric reported about 800 volt fast charging technology that the company was touting on. During today's reveal, Xpeng announced that the G9 will use the new generation Xpower 3.0 powertrain system with China's first 800 volt high voltage mass production SC platform. As a result, Xpeng claims the G9 will be able to charge up to 200 kilometers or 124 miles of range in only five, five freaking minutes. That's insane. And it has a maximum energy efficiency of over 95%. And you should actually check out what the energy efficiency is of the best petrol engines. Just do a Google on it. I think you'll be shocked at the difference between an electric vehicle and a petrol, gas, or diesel vehicle. Efficiency is incredibly poor in ICE vehicles. Xpunk said it is rolling out lightweight 480 kilowatt high voltage supercharging piles with 670 amp plus flow rate capacity and IP67 protection to provide safer and more convenient charging. Now, for those of you who watch this channel, I know you exist, who are engineers and are battery technicians and just really smart people. You can maybe explain to the layman exactly what that means in the comments section below. While these new technologies are exciting, especially for consumers in China and Europe, Xpeng did leave out a lot of the specs that I would usually like to bring you, but we do have some specs. At this time, the automaker has not shared battery size, trim levels, full range estimates, or pricing, but I can tell you that it will be equipped with a battery pack with a maximum capacity of 100 kilowatt hours and a power density of 2.2 kilowatt hours per kilo. Now, previous reports have said the G9 is about 5.1 meters long, so a fair bit longer than, say, a Tesla Model Y, which is around about 4.7 meters long, and has a wheelbase of 3 meters. Now, it's expected to be priced at around about 47,000 US dollars. So my question to you is, would you consider buying one of these for 47,000 US dollars? Is it better than the Nissan Aria, which costs 47,000 US dollars and is, well, about 25% smaller? Well, if you had a choice and you had to buy the Nissan Aria or this, which one would you buy? I think it's a no-brainer, but I want to hear what you think. Now, the G9 will actually be China's first, first vehicle to implement a gigabit Ethernet communications architecture, supporting multiple communication protocols, allowing vehicles to transmit and receive data much, much faster, which is really important for, say, autonomous driving. This significantly boosts its support for advanced driver assistance, smart cockpit, and firmware over-the-air upgrades. Right now, it's this incredible race on in China to develop the best technology for cars. It's really quite exciting to see. Now, that's about all I have for the Xpeng G9 at this stage. When I find out more details, I will make another video and you can check that out at the time if you're interested. Now, I think this is quite an interesting video because it is very possible that many of us, I don't know exactly who of us, but many of us will be able to buy this vehicle at some point in the future. And I think that's good news. More choice, the better off we all are. Thanks for watching the video. It's been great having you on board here on the Electric Viking. Looking forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.